Hello everyone, this is Valhalla Gaming TV, and this is the channel that plays everything, so you don't have to. This is Botany Manor. We're back again, and this is part six. The last episode of Botany Manor. All right, if you guys haven't caught up before, go and hit that button on the top right of the screen. That'll be the playlist, so you can get all caught up. And let's finish this. Okay, let's go and get that boathouse open. Since we got the key now, where are we going? We're going this way. All right, we gotta go find that boathouse. It was over by that pond. And we got two more plants left. So the one, the Morse code, let's see if we can put some of this on here. News article. Let's start throwing these down real quick. Notes about the telegraph, military codes, bioluminescence. Okay, we don't have everything. More clues, the telegraph, and a bunch of the boathouse. I don't know what the telegraph thing is, uh, or it's a location, or or what. So let's go down to the bell house and see. Go get some more of those clues. Once you know which clues it is, it does help, definitely, because then you can just go through them and look for things. Let's unlock the bell house. We're in. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Man, this place is awesome. Like, why would you ever need to leave if you got something like this? Oh, what's this? Telegraph. Oh, wow, we're gonna need that. International Morse code for the transformation of telegram signals. Okay, we'll come back and grab that. So we got another thing that for the seeds. Ooh. Hello. Egyptian goose. Quack, quack, quack. We found them all. Inspect all the ducks. Awesome. Okay. Let's go inside. Wow, this is one heck of a bow house. Supplies invoice. Bought of Williams Folly, education and school material supplied, Twerton Bath, to Lady Arabelle Green. Arabella Green. 10th of June, 1890. Classroom desk with chairs. Classroom note box. Uh, chalkboard, ink, black, blue box, writing materials, display case, teaching desk. Total. Okay. Got an inventory. Or a receipt. How weeds spread. Garden weeds and pests. How weeds spread. The weeds can take over an area quite rapidly. Some weeds have adapted in order to spread their seeds as far away as possible. The plant itself does not have much control over this, but trust nature uh, to lend a helping hand. Wood, avens, and goose grass have seeds with a hook and designed to attach to the fur of passing animals. They are then carried and dropped up to several miles away. Interesting. Dandelions have seeds with an attached feathery puff that allow them to simply be carried by the wind to a far away location. Other plants such as lords and ladies wrap their seeds in an attractive berry which birds consume and then later deposit as waste a great distance away. A final more mysterious example is the seed of the ocelot. Ooh, this is the one we need. It is known to be picked up by critters who take then take it back to their nest. As soon as the critter goes to sleep, the seed sprouts into bloom. It is not quite understood how the plant is able to detect when the animal is asleep. Oh, that's interesting. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to get the plant to know that an animal's asleep. Ooh, there's a seed right there. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we already did that. Got a music box. Okay, that's not doing what it's supposed to. It's a cylinder. Okay, I'm gonna use wax cylinders, I guess. That goes all over the world. Oh, maybe it's gotta... Okay, we gotta use one of these. What's this one? Animal husbandry and rehabilitation. Animal heartbeat rates given in uh, beats per minute. Okay. Oh, and it's got a sleeping time, too, probably. Yeah. Cow, horse, rabbit. True... What kind of animal is it that we need? Okay, we know that clue. 
animal hearts beats and weed and seeds. And then the Morse code thing, that's going to be for this. All right, we got all of them for that. Nice. We'll have to work on that in a bit. And what do we got here? Origin critters, game rules, game setup. Shuffle the food cards and place the stacks face down in the center of the board. Place the food tokens around the food cards on the board. Place the animals on the start tile. Players choose their animal by rolling the dice. The highest roller chooses first. Play in the game. Take turns to roll the dice and move your animal along the woodland path. The highest roller goes first. If you land on a food tile, pick up a food card. If your animal matches the card, you can collect the tokens specified on the food card. If you land on a gray squirrel tile, it steals all of your food tokens and they must return to the board. The player who has the most food tokens in their nest at the end of the game is the winner. Woodland cards, rabbit, wood, mouse, red squirrel, field cards, animal cards, meadow cards. So the gray squirrel. Okay. Sounds like the gray squirrel might be the what we're looking for. Oh, woodland cards. Let's see what this one is. Woodland mouse. Wood mice are very small and live in woodlands, but also many other habitats, including fields, parks, meadows, and gardens. Moles live underground and have poor vision. They find food and mates using their sense of smell and touch. Red squirrels live in nests high up in the trees. They sometimes forage food back to the nest to keep later. Okay, red squirrel. That's a good start. Gray squirrel. The North American gray squirrel is larger than the red and with smaller ears. It forages foods but can also digest some seeds straight away. Hedgehogs are protected from predators by their coats of needles. They live in burrows in both in field and woodland habitats. Rabbits live in many habitats and burrows underground. They come above to graze in the morning and evening. Okay. Animal car. Field car. Meadow car. Nice. Okay. So it's the red one. Red squirrel. Asleep at 120 beats. And which one's this? Inspect. Song by... Okay. 120. We need 120 beats. There we go. Meadow's Bliss. Now let's go get the plants. Soil. Now plant the ocelot. Or... Yeah, oscillate. That's not working. Interesting. Maybe I need to play music to it first. Oh, there it goes. That's awesome. Look at that. Is dancing. Nice. The ocelot seed is picked up by small animals such as red squirrels who then store it inside their nest. Once the animal falls asleep, the ocelot depends up on the heartbeat variations to break open and bloom. That's pretty cool. All the clues. All right, now we got to work on that last one. Oh, before we do that, let's take this one to the plant room. So we can get that achievement. All right, we're heading to the plant room. And I just remembered that I got to go get that telegraph. But we got a ways to go to all the way back to the boathouse. Let's see. And we got to figure out how this works. I know we probably put it in the cave. And then do we have all the... Yeah, we got everything now. Okay, we gotta get back there, grab the telegraph, and bring it back. Okay, we're back at the boathouse. Let's grab this telegraph. And let's bring this bad boy back up there and see how we can use it. Okay, I put the telegraph on the table. Let's see. Open up. How does this thing work? Well, that's a long one. Okay. Apparently there's an achievement 
if we do an SOS. So let's see if we can do that. So S and then O. And then S. Achievement. There we go. Okay. Let's figure out what we need to do for this other plant. First of all, let's get it into seed. And then we need the uh, bull's emerald. We water it. Okay, it started. Now. Let's put it in here. And let's go read some of those clues real quick to see exactly what we need to do with it. There's some stuff up here about it. Chemical compounds and wildlife flowers. Luciferin. Maybe we gotta spell that out or something. And what else do we got out here? I know there's some more over here. Maybe this is going to tell us because there was a Morse code. Um, what was it? Pamphlet thing over here? What is it? Let's see. Okay, we got this news article. It was a message. And that's in caps. So local man reports mysterious signal. I was walking my dog. A blinking light coming from the cave. It soon became dark and decided to walk back home on the way home. The house tiny cave as I walked, I noticed a blinking light pattern case in the cave entrance. And it was a tension. I'll never forget this one. Okay, so attention. What is the attention abbreviation? We go here. Tension is K A. So maybe we got to do KA to make it go. Is that what we need to do? So K is a long line dot K and then A. There it goes. Nice. That's the last one. Look, it's all bright. And glowy. Oh, is it gonna brighten up in here too? That's awesome. All right, that was it. Fool's emerald. The fool's emerald is a vine that contains luciferin, which allows it to create light. They grow in caves where they use the light to communicate with each other, very much like Morse code. Botanical researcher, complete all the plants in the herbarium. Nailed it. Up oh, in the gatehouse. Before we do that, let's take this plant to the plant room. Get that other achievement. I'm going in the circles here. We gotta go this way. And this should be the end of the game. All right. This place is so cool. A game about plants and it was actually really awesome. Some of the puzzles were pretty challenging. Here we go, achievement. Yeah, flower arranging. Place a plant on every saucer in the flower room. Now I'm about to go get the last one. I get that thousand gamer score. Here we go to the gatehouse. Oh, we gotta post the herbarium. Mayflower Publishing House. We finished it. Now we're sending it out. All right. A game by Balloon Studios. One year later, there's more. Oh wow, we're playing again. Oh look, we got birds in here. Green School of Botany. Ceremonial Key. 
Presented to Lady Arabella Green by the Women's Education Union on the occasion of her opening the Green School of Botany. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at She's got a whole class in here. Herbarium. So those are all herbariums. Those, those are hers, probably. That we just did. Oh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Ring the school bell. Forgotten floor less than air purifying flowers. Windmill wart. Awesome. Alright, let's read this on here. Teacher Lady Arabella Green. Eliza, Jessica, Catherine, Ada, Mary, and Amsina. Amasina. That's an interesting name. That's her students. Letter from sister. Pop good household. My dear Flora, I am terribly sorry your herbarium didn't get picked up by, uh, for publishing, though I am most excited about your new plans to turn Botany Manor into a, bot a botanical academy. I look forward to visiting the school and meeting the talented students you have taken under your wing. Let's hope they can carry on our fight. Lots of love, Elizabeth. Yes, Arabella, I hope you don't mind me still calling you by your childhood pet name. Flora, huh? Forgotten Flora. A Herbarium by Arabella Green. That's pretty cool. And put it here. Time to teach. The end. Reach the end of the game. Wow, that was a really awesome game. Alright everyone, that was Botany Manor. You guys made it to the end. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it. I like entertaining you guys. Um, also, this game, uh, in terms of a puzzle game, I thought it was awesome. Uh, the puzzles were challenging, and uh, they, they definitely kept you thinking, which is great for a puzzle game. Also, the fact that the whole theme was on like flowers and growing them, and they actually did stuff, that was really cool too. Hey everyone, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. On the bottom of the screen, if you like, comment, share, subscribe, you can support the channel. Also, check out the videos above. That'll take you to more content from Valhalla Gaming TV. Thanks again. Later.